What's up you guys? It's Alexandria. Welcome back to my channel. So first and foremost, I want to apologize because there's no lighting. I don't have professional lights in my house or uh, I don't use professional lighting. I always have to rely on daylight and literally for the past week I've been trying to film this video. Um, but it's been really gross outside. It's literally no sun. It's been raining. Welcome to fall in Virginia, basically. So, um, this video is going to be super dark, I know. Just bear with me. You're still going to be able to see the clothes, so don't worry. Um, basically, if you guys didn't know, a lot of fashion YouTubers have been doing videos basically on the return of Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, so, I actually think this is really funny because I actually used to work for the brand about four and a half, five-ish five years ago. Um, I used to work for Hollister, which is a lot of people don't know is a brand under Abercrombie & Fitch. It's, they're all sister companies basically. Um, so they kind of all operate one in the same. And um, Hollister is basically just the more teenage, teenage brand um, under Abercrombie & Fitch, which is obviously geared toward um, young adults or adults in general. Um, so recently they have had a major comeback. I know that they got canceled for a minute just due to lots of other things that I don't even want to get into. Um, but you guys, their quality has always, in my opinion, been really top notch and especially for a high street brand. Um, I can't stress enough how great the quality of the clothes really are and you won't have any issues with like washing or shrinking or any of that literally the softest materials that i have found in comparison to other brands so definitely my favorite brand um but yeah so first off before i jump into the video please 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 pause and go and subscribe to my channel please go hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you never miss a video um as well as don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below all right, well, let's just get into the video. Okay, so this first item that I have that I'm wearing is the denim so this is literally what everyone has been raving and um talking about is the abercrombie and fitch denim and how great it is and especially for the price point you're not going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their denim which i really like it is on the upper end of being what do you say like i don't want to say prestige like what is it higher end denim i guess but it is really really great quality um so i think these jeans are called the 90s i have the 90s curved straight leg so this is what everyone's been talking about on tiktok is the 90s straight leg denim and so these ones are the 90s curve straight leg denim so curve basically just means that um, if you have a little bit more body it's going to be a little bit more comfortable these are going to look a little bit more flattering on you um, versus getting the regular ones um, so I appreciate that. I know a lot of people actually do appreciate that. Um, and what's great about these jeans as well is that it does come in four different lengths. I believe there's regular, there's short, there's tall, and then there's actually extra short, which is pretty cool. Um, for me, I typically usually go for the short in all of my pants. Um, I'm not someone who needs to order petite sizing. I never order petite sizing because it's cut very short my mom were and I were actually talking about this the other day um, but also I'm like right up under the cusp of being considered petite I guess like I'm 5'2 so I'm not really petite petite I guess like I'm like right up under what would be considered average for a woman in a, in a sense but um, I do in all of my pants like to get short um, length if it's available so these are the 90s curve straight leg denim and short and these are medium washed and i honestly really do think that these look amazing these are my favorite pair of jeans they're so comfortable i hate showing my butt but i'm going to show you guys my butt i have no butt it's not there 
I know. Um, but these actually do make your butt look decent. And I don't even have a butt. So I feel like these are very flattering. They're very flattering on everyone. And you guys, oh my God, I don't know how much I can stress this, but if you are still wearing jeggings or <laughs> super skinny jeans, you really need to update your wardrobe. Please update your wardrobe. Super skinny jeans are not in style anymore. And I think they look really strange when I see people wearing super skinny jeans. So please, 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 please get rid of your super skinny jeans. Skinny is fine, I think. Like the not so uh, baggier leg, it's still a little bit um, tighter fitting to the calf. It's just not like so tight around the calf. But what's weird, my sister and I were actually talking about this, is that that style is actually really in trend for men right now, the tighter fitting jeans. But you guys, I love a looser fit jean. It just looks really cool. It looks very in style and very trendy. I would definitely say that you should invest in Abercrombie and Fitch's denim if you don't get anything else. And I do think these jeans were um, right up under 100. I think they were like 99 bucks, so $100. Um, but I definitely think that they are worth the money. Okay, so this next piece, I am so obsessed with this 90s preppy trend that's going on right now. I think it's so adorable. And I really actually wish that they made this little sweatshirt in a tote bag because I would totally get it. This is so cute. Like, I wish I could talk to their design team and be like, please make a tote bag with this little graphic logo on it. This is so cute. So this is, so this is just a sweatshirt and it is so soft. It's probably one of the softest sweatshirts that I've ever put on. I'm not even lying to you. It's um, kind of cut a little bit short, but I feel like it's supposed to be like that. It wasn't made to be like super oversized. I just really love oversized um, sweatshirts, but this one was not made to be like that. It's a little bit shorter. Um, but you guys look at this logo. This logo is so cute. It says Le Hardin Hotel Spa <laughs> Paris. And it has like this cute little like emblem logo thingy at the bottom. It's in the most pretty, most perfect color green. I'm obsessed with this color green. This is so trendy right now this year, this color. I am obsessed with this little sweatshirt. I don't even know. I've never been more in love with a sweatshirt. I don't even know what to say. Um, I actually did Google these. I was like, Le Hardin, I really want to stay at that hotel. And so I thought, I was like, maybe it's real. And I Googled it. It's not real. It's legit something that they just made up to put on the sweatshirt. But this is so cute. They actually have a hat that matches it. And I really wanted the hat, but I was like, is that doing too much? Like, do I need the sweatshirt and the hat? But I would definitely buy the tote bag. <laughs> like, I wish they would come out with a tote bag with this little logo on it but they have like a whole lineup for the 90s preppy trend I actually think now they just put out the Y2K 2.0 um, line which is really cool um, but I really 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 love the 90s preppy um, collection that they put out it is so cute and it just takes you back to like nostalgic Abercrombie days when it was like really cool to wear um, with like the polos and just really, really cute like cardigans and whatnot. So I'm obsessed with it. I love this little sweatshirt.
Okay, so this next piece is, I think they call this the Tippet Cardigan. And as you can see, it's just a really cute, preppy, oversized um, cardigan. The cable, is it this cable? I think this is called Cable Knit. It's still a Cable Knit sweater. Um, it's very reminiscent of the Cricut sweater, sweater that you would see like a lot of um, country club tennis playing people wearing. <laughs> preppy people wearing. Um, I think this is absolutely adorable. It's just a little bit too big. I would definitely recommend sizing down if you're going to get this um, because I like my sleeves really baggy but not this baggy to where it's just like not even comfortable on my arm. Like my arms are swimming in it. Um, so I could roll it up like this but I would rather just size down and have it be more of a comfortable fit on me. Um, but I'm obsessed with this really like preppy detailing with the, um, what do you even call this? The embroidery or the outlining on the sweater is just really, really cute. And I love it. You can wear it open. I would prefer to wear it like this and you can even just like take the shirt off and wear it without a shirt up under it. It would be really cute. Or you can leave it open. You guys, this is so adorable. You could wear it like I'm wearing it with just jeans. Um, I really, 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 really love like dress pants styled with it. I'll have to show you guys that in another video. But like dress pants and loafers styled with a sweater is just absolutely ad adorable. I love that um, the embroidered, the border, the embroidery, what is it called? I don't even know. Um, I love that it's navy and not black. I feel like um, navy gives a little bit more of a collegiate, like preppy vibe versus black. Do you know what I'm saying? So I love that. I just love the sweater. I love cardigans like this that I can just throw on and still feel really feminine and pretty and not feel like my outfit is too masculine, if that makes sense. Um, but you could also just wear this with nothing underneath, maybe like a little bralette top and just have it like hanging off the shoulder, like a little off the shoulder moment would be really cute. Um, I could style this sweater so many different ways. I can't even tell you guys all the different ways that I can style this sweater. I could almost do a video on the sweater itself basically, but I think this is just so adorable. I feel very Ivy League, preppy, collegiate, Yale, Harvard studying, just really cute. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay guys, so this last piece that I wanna show you is this knitted dress. So I was actually really scared when I ordered this dress because I've ordered one from H&N, I think I've ordered one from Zara, and I didn't really like the quality or the material of the dress, but um, if you guys keep up with like other cool fashion Instagrammers, you would know that this dress has been like all the rage. So. These dresses with like the collar, again, very preppy, very 90s preppy, um, but then putting, adding in, it adds in this like little twist, I guess, to the dress by adding in the ruching in the front and the buttons going down, which is very flattering. And I love that because even when my body type is flattering, I'm not even wearing like Spanx. And I feel like, you know, I feel, secure, I feel okay in this dress. Um, so this material is like, not like other stores where I've bought this dress from and returned it because the quality was just so bad. Um, this is actually livable, it's comfortable. I thought it was gonna be a sweater knit material and I was like, I'll try it um, just because like fall, winter, you know, but it's not, it's more of like a ribbed, a ribbed knitted material that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it, 
but it's so cute and it's so comfortable again very 90s preppy this whole collection like i said is from their 90s preppy collection and i am just obsessed with that whole collection i really wish that i could get the whole thing and show it to you guys um but so cute i already have in my head so many different ways that i want to style just this single dress the dress and the sweater like i have literally so many different ideas of how they can be styled um, so stay tuned, look out on my Instagram, or maybe I'll even do like a 90s preppy um, video showing you guys different 90s preppy outfits, but this is just absolutely adorable. I'm already thinking like knee-high boots obviously would be really cute, but even like a cowboy boot would be really cute with this. Um, you could do sneakers, you could do a ballet flat. Um, there's different, um, I'm even thinking about like um tying sweaters over my shoulder like there's just so many different ways to make this little dress look so cute i'm obsessed with it i'm obsessed with the quality and the color is just beautiful it's this beautiful um beigey kind of tan color which i really love like it's more like a, a light nude color it's just so cute <sighs> now that i'm out of breath um <laughs> this is the last piece that i have to show you guys so um, like I said, thank you guys so, so, so much first off for watching. Thank you guys so, so much for watching if you made it this far. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments down below um, as well as subscribe to the channel. I am going to be putting out so many more videos, so I'm really excited to do that. So definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next video and bring you more fashion content. See you next time.